sequence okay you will have to sequence now okay forget about the m1 m2 m3 now think about m4 and m5 okay sequencing only sequencing is based on m4 and m5 okay how many jobs six jobs are there okay now tell me as per previous rule select shortest possible number which is the number eight for which machine c and f c and f okay c and f eight number eight so where should c will come right or left where should c will come right or left exactly okay so c and f one is at right one is at left okay so i will take c at right because it is in a second column and f f at left clear the list friends is it clear c at right second column the smallest number of cell there take it at the right if it is in the uh, first column take it at the left okay c and f okay now 8 and 8 over next smallest number is there 9 okay next smallest number is 9 okay now tie condition tie condition okay now just just listen both the nine numbers are in m4 column in the first column it means both the job will come at left side if it is in first column both the job will come at left side both the job will come at left side now which i should take first which i should take first both the job will come at left side okay b will take first okay so when there are same numbers in a same column second word is important same numbers in a second same column just check out another column and select that job where it is having smallest number in the second column job a and job b both are having nine nine but for m5 machine less number is 10 so i will take b first okay why because number is less in second column and then i will take a then I will take A. Okay, both will be at the left. Okay, both will be at the left. So 8 is over, 9 is over. Now 10. 10. So where is the 10? F we have taken, C we have taken, B we have taken. So 10 is not there. Okay, 10 already crossed. Okay, 10 already crossed. So we have to convert now. We have to consider now D and E. Okay. A over B over C over F over. Only D and E is remaining. Only D and E is remaining. D is 11. E is 11. Check out. 10 already is already the cross is already train. 10 is already crossed. Now only two jobs are remaining. D and E. D and E. Okay. D and E. So 11, 11. But good thing is that one is it in different column. Another is in different column. So one will be at right. One will be at left. D is in a second column, so it will be at the left. Sorry, right. And E is in a first column, so it will be in the right side. So it will be F, B, A, E, D, C. F, B, A, E, D, C. Okay, that is the sequence. Okay, so sequencing, making the sequence will be with the help of two machines and not the with the help of three machines. Okay, only sequence, only sequence. It will be with the Two machines okay now now our table will start like this okay as many number of machines as many number of columns multiplied by two okay that way machine m1 in out machine m2 in out machine m3 in out okay now don't consider here newly developed machines like m4 and m5 m4 and m5 is only for making the sequence once you will get the sequence remaining process of in and out will be based on original table because because timing is given in the original table and not in the second table okay so first of all our task get the sequence of job f first b then will appear a then it appear e then it appear d then it appear c f b 
F B A E D C F B A E D C. Okay, that is sequence. Okay, let's start. Okay, now just go on answering. I will start for machine M one. Don't consider second table. Don't consider second table or two machines. Go with the first table. Okay, what should I write? F job. F job will come at zero o'clock on machine M one. Processing time five minutes. Completed by five o'clock. Okay. Immediately. Another job, okay. I am doing it different way. Complete the first M1 machine, M2 machine, and M3 machine that way. Copy the number five. Second job B will come out at five o'clock. Processing time six hours. Out eleven. Copy the number eleven. Job A processing time on machine M1 five minutes. Eleven plus five sixteen. Copy. Job E processing time on M1 machine. Job E processing timing on M1 machine seven, so eleven plus seven, sorry sixteen plus seven, twenty three. Copy the time. Okay, current M1 machine la waiting na hi. M1 machine doesn't have waiting period, so I am copying as it is five, five, eleven, eleven, sixteen, sixteen, twenty three, twenty three. Now job D, job D twenty three is the in time, processing time is nine. So it will be thirty-two. Copy. Job C. In time is thirty-two. Processing time is eight hours. Out time will be forty. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now let's go for machine M two. Now let's go for machine M two. Let's go for machine M two. First job F. At what time it will enter on the M two machine? Yes. Exactly. Five o'clock. Right. Now processing time of F on M two is three, so five plus three eight exactly. Now 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 for B job on M two machine, what should I take in time? In time of B job on M two machine. In time of B job on M two machine eight or eleven eleven okay largest number eleven. Processing time on M two B job three hours eleven plus three fourteen. Okay, what should I take now? Entry of A on M two sixteen. Processing time of A on M two four. It will be twenty. What should I take E on M two entry time twenty three. Processing time four. So it will be twenty seven. In time of D on M two, out of twenty seven and thirty two, I should take, I should take thirty two. Okay. Now processing timing of D on M two five minutes. So thirty two plus five, thirty seven. Out of thirty seven and forty, smallest largest is forty. So I will copy it. And processing time of C, processing time of C on M two, C on M two is two hours, two hours. So it will be forty two, forty two. Okay, same as like two machines, just addition of columns. Okay, in time of F job on M three machine, exactly eight o'clock. Processing time of F on M three eight, eight plus eight. Sorry, F F. Processing time of F. On M three is seven, so eight plus seven fifteen. What should I copy? Fifteen. Processing time of B on M three seven. Fifteen plus seven twenty two. So out of twenty two and twenty, I'll copy twenty two. Processing time of A on M three eight hours twenty two plus eight thirty. Out of thirty and twenty seven, largest is Largest is thirty. Copy. Processing time of E on M three. E on M three nine minutes. Thirty plus nine thirty nine. Processing time of sorry. Copy thirty nine. D on M three. D on M three six hours. Thirty nine plus six forty five. Out of forty five and forty two, forty five is large. Copy. And processing time of C on M three. Six forty-five plus six is fifty-one. Exactly. Now you are thorough with the process. Okay. Okay.
now i want idle time for machine m1 tell me idle time for machine m1 take the time and tell me idle time for machine m1 okay you can check the you can check the crossing and entry 0 5 5 11 11 16 16 23 23 32 32 and 40 okay no 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 muskan it will not be zero just take uh, just see at the last m1 machine completion time is 40 and entire operation will stop at 51 simple thing all the three machines will start at same time at me that means zero o'clock and all the machines will stop at same time that means 51 o'clock means 51 hours at the time of 51 okay zero la start sagada machine hotel 51 la sagada machine stop hotel okay now m1 all the machines are started at zero m1 is also started at zero there is no in between time lag but all the machines are stopping at 51 but m1 has last job at 40 o'clock so from 40 to 51 machine is idle 40 to 51 is period of machine idle so idle time is 11 okay idle time is 11 okay in between kai nahi hai 5 5 11 11 16 16 23 23 and 32 32 starting from zero la zali no problem okay so it will be 51 plus minus 40 so it will be 11 okay idle time for machine m2 now calculate properly take the time calculate properly okay now listen 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 m2 machine what i have told no 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 look 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 here no no different answers are coming just 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 listen see here see all the machines have started at zero o'clock right but what is the time at which m2 machine has got its first job it's five o'clock m2 machine or pahila job kiti wasala job f at five o'clock so that means from zero to five machine was idle from zero to five machine was idle from zero to five machine was idle so five hours five is from that from f to b job pass dala so second job has come at 11 o'clock second job has come at 11 o'clock okay so i'll minimize it and look here 30 will exactly okay but i will write here addition here phi u plus now here here 8 to 11 means three hours waiting plus three 14 to 16 means 2 hours waiting plus 2 20 to 23 3 hours waiting plus 3 27 to 32 plus 5 32 30 sorry 37 to 40 plus 3 okay and and 51 to 4 51 to 42 51 to 42 yeah otherwise like is a 5 3 8 to 10 13 18 21 okay 21 and this job 51 to 42 plus 9 okay plus 9 okay this way plus 9 equal to 30 and i could not this 51 51 minus 42 okay pahila case madhi kai kelta apan 
first machine lag 51 minus 40 40 okay that was 11 so here 51 minus 42 that will be 9 so total time will be 30 okay don't make the mistake in making the time 30 okay and last machine last machine 8 because see here is the only lag time here is the only lag time remaining here 15 15 no lag 22 22 okay 30 30 39 39 45 45 and 51 all are starting all are seizing at the 51 okay so only start time is the lag here so 8 11 and 30 okay that will be a idle time that will be a idle time okay now now can you tell me idle time for job idle time for a job idle time for a job look here look here i'll enter the one more text box here okay idle time for a job see here see here don't go on calculating look at the first f f job f job look at the f job look at the f job entering at zero coming out five entering at five coming out eight entering at eight coming out 15 is there waiting time is there waiting time no look here second job b job entering at five coming out 11 immediately entering at 11 coming out 14 immediately now here here see here on second machine b job is coming at 14 but it is processed at 15 o'clock so there is a waiting period of one hour so b has got waiting period of one hour plus a job a job coming 18 out 16 in 16 out 20 in 22 so two hours e job out 20 in 23 out 23 in 23 out 27 in 30 three hours let me see who is inviting okay d job 32 out 32 in 37 out 39 in two hours c job 40 out 40 in 42 out 45 in plus three okay so over total three three six six four ten plus one eleven so 11 is the total job waiting time total job waiting time okay individually sir which are the characters just add one more column here at the right side just add one more column here at the right side and you can just make here idle time okay idle time for job that way you can do Okay, that way you can do. Perfect, individual results. Okay, got it. Now this way you will have to solve the problem. Okay, let's take another one. Let's take another one. Okay, now three machines. Three machines are there, and we have to process the jobs like this way. Now here seven jobs are there. Okay, now job A. Tell me. Seven job B Achha, okay. Uh, we'll go uh, machine wise eleven job C nine job B nine job E ten job F twelve job G ten. Okay, exactly. Okay, job A M5U, machine M5U, job A. 
10, 4 plus 6, 3 plus 7, 10, 2 plus 5, 7, 11 plus 5, 16, 1 plus 5, 6, 4 plus 6, 10, 12 plus 3, 15, exactly. Right, you are clear about this. Now, tell me, sequence, which machine should I take first? Smallest job. Six is there, six is there for E machine. Six is there for E machine. Okay, so E, E, but it is in a second column. So I will take it at this end and I will delete this. So confusion will not be there. Okay, out of remaining. Out of remaining. Seven, 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 seven. Different columns A and C, seven, seven. So A in first column at the right and C in the second column at the end. Okay, so. A is delete the row C delete the row okay now now smallest D okay first column will come at this side delete the row now 10 10 10 Okay, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, now tell me, now tell me, now tell me. After D, what should I write? After D, what should I write? Exactly, okay, exactly, right? There are three tens, one, two, and three, but one is in first column and Two are in second column so first column will come at left and second columns will come at so let's take the first reference first G G will come at this side delete the row now 10 10 both the numbers are same 10 10 out of that smallest is second smallest number is 11 so which will come it will be G no 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 look here look here see this b and f we are going to place at right side b and f we are going to place at right side because small number is in this but now in first column where is the small here is the small b is the small so b will take first b will take first but at what side no 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 Gauri. b will take first but at what side right side side will be decided by the smallest number in the column okay so see both the jobs we are going to keep at right side out of that which, which job should be selected first b b but where should i keep this i should keep this here understood that will be decided by the smallest number in the second column okay so b will come first f will come second okay because we are keeping from right side we are keeping from right side okay so it matters from which side we are keeping it okay now forget about the two machines a d g f b c e okay Achha, already i have written here okay let's start zero next three copy D job next now tell me very fast D job D job how come eight seven exactly D job out four pin exactly copy F job F job out twenty two copy B job out 30 copy c job out 37 copy e job out 
E job out 46. A job in on M2. A job in on M2. 3 out. 7. B in M2. B in M2. 7. Okay, out. Uh, out B job out on M2 12 12 look here 5 is the number 5 is the processing time 7 plus 5 12 okay out of 12 and 14 I will take 14 G job processing time B 14 plus 3 17 in 22 out F job out on M2, 26. Copy. In at 30. Out at 33. In at 30. In at. In at M2. C job in on M2. What should I write? 37. Tick. Out. 39 e job in e job in e job in on m2 46 and out at 47 click second m3 a job in on m3 7 out at 13 in at 13 out at g job g job out on m3 24 in at 24 out g job out on m3 36 f job out on m3 F job out on M3, 42. 36 plus 6, 42. B job out on M3. B job out on M3. 49. 39, 49. Largest is 49. C job out on M3. Addition. Before. Rohan is active now. Before. E job out on M3. E job out on M3. 59. So total processing time is 59. Total processing time is 59. Okay, let's come back to initial one. Idle time for M1. Idle time for M1. Exactly. Okay. Pahila machine la directly. Ekas gosh karaji. 59 minus 46. Getting it. So 13. No way. Idle time for machine M2. Lakshadhyaya. Starting like the idle hai. 3 minutes. 3 minutes. Then ita check kara. 7, 7. No problem. 12, 14. 2, min two minutes. Okay. So I'll write the addition. 3 plus... 12, 14, 2 minutes, 2 plus 17, 22, 5 minutes, 26, 40, 30, 4 minutes, 30, 37, 4 minutes, 39, 46, 7 minutes, and 59 and 47, 12 minutes, exactly. So what is the answer for 39? 3, 2, 5, 5, 10, 10, 8, 18, 7, 25 plus 12. 39 or 37? 37, right. Check it once again. Lakshya Dalai Kutunale, this crossing, I will just show you right away. Look here, this crossing.
this crossing this way. This way. This way. This way. And this way. Okay. And one more. will understand it easily. Okay. This is how we have taken. Zero to three, three hours. Seven to seven, zero. Twelve to fourteen, two hours. Seventeen to twenty-two, five. Twenty-six to thirty, five, four. Thirty-three to thirty-seven, four. Thirty-nine to forty-six, Seven hours and 59 to 47, 12 hours. Got it easily. Same way, idle time for machine M3. Right? This crossing 0, 0, 0, only there is at the start 7. So 13 plus 37 plus 7. Okay, for job. For job, let's calculate properly. I'll insert and call them to the right. Idle time for job. First job, 0337730, zero minutes. Second job, seven out, seven in. 12 out, 13 in, one hour. 14 out, 14 in. 17 out, 24 in, seven. 22, 22, 26, 36, 10. 30 cross by so m1 out and m2 in m2 out and m3 in 30 30 33 42 so it is 9 37 37 39 49 10 and 46 46 47 54 it will be 7 okay so how much it will come out as 10 10 20 29 27, 9, 36, 7, 43, 44. Exactly. Okay. So, a better way you will make the column here. Right. So, that will be easy. One more thing you can do. Okay. This way you can go for. Here. Here. Processing time. Okay. Uh, very easy, very easy to calculate. Easy also, here also. Your task will increase, but mistakes will be less. Processing time. And here, processing time. Okay. Table will be larger, but your calculations, there will not be a mistake. Okay. Processing time of particular job. A job on M1, 3. Here, 4. Here, 7. Here, 8. Here, 8. Here, 7. And here, 9. Okay. You will have to copy the values from this table. You will have to copy the values from this table and put it in a middle table first. And then just go on adding. Then just go on adding. Okay. So this will be also easy task. This will be also easy task. Okay, that's how you will have to solve the problems. Okay, now one condition you will have to check. Now listen very carefully before solving this problem. Okay, this uh, this type of condition will come maybe in the gate or etc. Look here. Before solving this problem, see here there is a one condition. I'll delete this now. Okay, there is one condition. Minimum, minimum of M1 must be 
Now where is the symbol? Just a minute. Okay, this condition you will have to check first. Look here, minimum of M1 either should be greater than or equal to maximum of M2. Okay, tell me the condition here now. What is the minimum of M1? Minimum of M1. What is the minimum of M1? 3. And what is the maximum of M2? Maximum of M2. Maximum of M2. 5. Is that condition is satisfying? Check out. That condition is not satisfied. Okay. So there is one more condition. Minimum of M3. Minimum of M3 must be greater than or equal to maximum of M2. M2 same runner addition circuits. Okay. Now check the condition. What is the minimum of M3? Minimum of M3, 5. And what is the maximum of M2? What is the maximum of M2? 5. Okay. Getting it? So see, whenever you will have to convert three motion into two machines, either this condition, first one, or this condition or this condition must be there one of the condition must be satisfied then only you will have to convert into two machines otherwise just write down their one statement this is invalid problems the conditions are not satisfied so cannot be converted into two machines okay it's a simple meaning each value in m1 column each value in m1 column either must be equal to or greater than values from M2 column. Values of M1 column must be equal to or greater than M2 column. Or values of M3 column must be either equal or greater than M2. M1 and M3. M3. M1 and M3, which is the value M2 chap M2 picture just the key equal by J. Okay, the M1 condition satisfied with the second baga. Compare 4 and 6. 6 is larger. 3 and 7. M2 and M3, I am comparing. 4 and 6, 6 is larger. 3 and 7, 7 is larger. 2 and 5, 5 is larger. 5 and 11, 11 is larger. 1 and 5, 5 is larger. 4 and 6, 6 is larger. 3 and 12, 12 is larger. Okay, getting it? So, each and every value must be either equal or greater than M2 for M3 and M1 column, okay? Let's check it for previous problem. Okay, now check it. Each value of M1 or M3 must be equal to or greater than equal to M2. 5 is greater than 4, 6 is greater than 3, 8 is greater than 2, 9 is greater than 5, 7 is greater than 4, 5 is greater than 3. First condition satisfied? Yes. Minimum of M1. What is the minimum of M1? 5. Must be greater than or equal to maximum of M2. What is the maximum of M2? 5. So it is equal. Or, take minute. 1 minute, 1 minute. Or minimum of M3. What is the minimum of M3? 6. Must be greater than or equal to maximum of M2. What is the maximum of M2? 5. Okay. So here both the conditions are satisfying. So that we have solved the problem. Okay. So whenever you have to solve the three motions problem, first ensure that these two conditions, sorry, one out of these two conditions must be satisfied. One out of these two conditions must be 
satisfied okay so minimum of m1 or minimum of m3 must be greater than or equal to maximum of m2 as a dusra meaning kay zala all the values of m1 or m3 must be greater than all the values of m2 okay summarize karay zala tar m2 will be lesser than m1 and m3 simple m2 will be lesser than m1 and m3 okay so that is the thing and these are the only two types we are having okay these are the only two types we are having for the sequencing model problem okay so uh, with this our section first is over right so maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will release a one by one uh, four different test so questions will be from gate and your uh, university question papers mcq type okay mcq type but small calculations you will have to make to solve gate the answers okay so uh, one by one we have four questions papers mcq type you can solve it on mobile no need to have uh, conventional questions conventional answers so just uh, solve the questions select the proper answers and uh, submit that okay it, it will be on the google form right so maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will inform you that way i will go ahead with okay so with this we will conclude the section 1 and uh, then in from next lectures uh, section b will be started okay so with this we'll conclude for today thank you so much put your roll numbers in chat box and have a nice day